hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is drea from lake crochet if you like what you see please 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 like comment and subscribe to this channel all right let's get into it so on this tutorial we're going to be making this really really cute um summertime ready bucket hat with a mesh stitch and a ruffle this orange is giving me all the vibes look how it is on Super cute and floppy, beach ready. Um, gotta make a bikini or something like that to match it. But I think it is like super cute. So this is what we're gonna be making today. All right. Materials. Five millimeter hook. Craft some art yarn in this like rose pink color. And some scissors, okay? Like always, we're gonna start with our slip knot. We are going to chain up one, two, three, and four. All right. And then we're going to just slip stitch our needle into the first chain to create a circle. Or you could just make a magic circle. That's how I do mine. I don't like to do the other way. So that's, you have to make a circle. Okay. <laughs> um, once we have our circle, we're going to chain up one and two. And we're going to go into our circle 12 times, double crochet, 12 double crochets. Okay, so here's my first one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. Five. Eleven and twelve double crochet into that circle. This is what you should have which you should be looking like. I hope the sun is not too much over here. I sat by the door because it's so nice out. So I hope the glare isn't too much. Um, that's what you should have, okay? And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet to close our circle. All right. Voila. We are then going to chain up two. And we're going to put a double crochet into the same stitch. And then the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. So there's two double crochets into one stitch. And we're going to repeat that pattern of two double crochets into every stitch all the way around. So an increase pretty much in every stitch around. Okay. Okay, I've come to the end of my row. I'm just going to, of course, slip stitch in the top of my first double crochet to close off this round. One, two chains up. And then we are going to put a double crochet into the same stitch we just came out of. And then I'm going to put one double crochet into the next stitch. And then in the third stitch is going to be increase so two double crochets in that one stitch okay so our pattern for this round is going to be one double crochet increase of two double crochets in the same stitch so one double crochet two double crochet in the same stitch one double crochet two double crochets in the same stitch and we're just going to keep doing it all the way around and I'll be sure that thing all right, y'all, I'm at the end of my row. Slip stitching into my first double crochet to close off my row. And this is what we should have right now. Next round, chain up one, two. Double crochet into that same stitch you're in. Okay. And then we're going around with one double crochet. One double crochet. And then... Uh, increase in the next stitch so the pattern for this round is one one two okay one double crochet in one stitch one double crochet in the next stitch increase of two double crochet into one stitch and that's the pattern okay so i'll see you guys at the end of the round Okay, guys, so I just finished my round of two increase, two increase. And at this point, of course, we're going to chain up one, two. 
but we are going to do the next round will be um, three increase, three increase. After that round, it will be four increase, four increase. And our last round will be five increase, five increase. Okay, so that's the pattern. We're just going up one every round until we get the five, okay? Okay, guys, I am back. I finished my last increase row of five double crochet increase, five double crochet increase. Um, I now chained up two, and we are about to get into the body of the head, this mesh stitch around here, okay? So after you chain up your two, we're gonna double crochet into the same stitch again. Chain one. And then we're gonna skip the first stitch and we're gonna go into the next with a double crochet. Chain one, skip, go into the next chain, double crochet, chain one. I mean, go into the next stitch, I say go into the next chain. Anywho, <laughs> double crochet or skip a chain, skip a stitch, I don't know what I mean. Skip one, go into the next, skip one, go into the next. All right. So skip one, go into the next with a double crochet, and then chain one. Skip one, go into the next with a double crochet, chain one. And we're doing that pattern all the way around until we get to the end of the round, okay? Okay, guys, I'm back around my round. I'm about to end it with a slip stitch into our first double crochet, the top of our first double crochet. Chain one, two. And we are going right back around with the same exact pattern, okay? So first we're gonna do our double crochet into the same stitch, which is that we're already in. Okay, boom. We're gonna do a double crochet into the top of this one. And then we're gonna chain one. And then we're gonna do a double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Chain one. So we're doing that same exact pattern. Oh, I'm sorry, this time. All right, I had to move over a little bit. This time was just obnoxious. But um, what was I saying? Double crochet on top of each of these little posts all the way around. That's how you do the mesh stitch. Okay, on the top, double crochet, chain one, and do that all the way around. We're actually going to be doing the same exact stitch, the body of the head, for one, two, three, four rows okay one two three four okay guys i finished my four rows rounds <laughs> of the mesh stitch this is what we have right now okay let's see yeah that's about right because we're about to get into the brim um in the ruffles okay so i'm going to chain up two we're going to double crochet into the same stitch voila okay Mm, excuse me and then we are going to i'm going to get close right double crochet into the stitch two double crochets into the next stitch one two so i said this so that's the pattern okay one and then two into the next stitch one, two, into the next stitch or next square. Okay. So that's what we're doing. Around until we get to the end and I'll be sure of it around. Okay, guys, I reached the end of the round. I'm going to chain up. One, two. All right. And then I'm going to double crochet in the same stitch, of course. All right, next, one double crochet into the next stitch. Boom, the next stitch, two double crochets into the same stitch. Boom, so we have one and we have two into the same stitch. The next one, we're gonna do three into the same stitch. So one double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet into the same stitch. And we're going to repeat that pattern of one, two, and three. So let's do it again. One double crochet. Two double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next one, three double crochet. One, two, and three. Oh, look at how that sun just went down. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I feel like I could see a little bit better. How about you guys? Okay. 
Anywho, that's the pattern. One, two, three. One, two, three. One double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, and then you start over, okay? And then I'll be back at the end of the round. Okay, guys, we are at the end of our round. I'm talking a little louder because as most of you know that, you know, watch my tutorials, I live right across the street from a Catholic church and it is now bell time, okay? Sound the bells. Um, but this happens so much, I gotta get it done. So um, we're done. Our row up increased the one, two, three. Tell me in the comments if they tripped y'all up a little bit, like counting that one, that two, that three. Like I just kept, oh wait, I messed up. Like I kept doing it the whole time. But anywho, um, we are done our increased rows and we are now going to do two rows of double crochet, okay? So we're gonna go around each stitch, double crochet, chain up two, go back around, double crochet. We're only doing two more rows, double crochet. We already got our increases, you know what I'm saying? So that made the, the wave that we're gonna do. And these two double crochet rows will be the end of our head, okay? So of course, we're gonna chain up two, go into that stitch, and then go around. Double crochet up the way around. Right. And that's it, y'all. I'll be back if I'm done my two rows of double crochet. Okay. Y'all, she is back. OMG. I think these are going to definitely be my favorite spring summer hits. Like, and if you want to be dramatic for her, for like, I like that these are like chill and not, you know, extra. But if you wanted to, I would definitely add at least two more rows. Baby, floppy, floppy. I definitely, I'm going to add rose to this. I'm going to go drama, but this is the hat. I hope y'all loved it. I hope y'all turned out just as cute as mine did. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the tutorial. Um, as I say all the time, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so appreciated. I'm going to try my hardest to keep pushing them out, pushing them out, pushing them out, and overall, until next time.